Hi there, my name is Mrs. Gooch and I'm here to help you explain to you some changes that will be occurring um, starting in the May of 2013 AP Biology exam. The exam takes about three hours long. There's two different sections. You start with a 90 minute section with multiple choice. You will be allowed a break time in between and then you'll have another 90 minutes to work on your free response answers. For the multiple choice section, um, that is also broken down into two sections. You have 63 questions of multiple choice. Um, one change uh, that will be starting this year is there are only four options for um, the multiple choice question. So in the past we had A, B, C, D, and E as possible options. Now there's only four options, A, B, C, and D to choose from. There's no uh, deduction for incorrect answers, so if you find yourself running out of time and you need to bubble in, just bubble in some answers. You're not penalized if those answers are incorrect. Um, we are also uh, experiencing something new this next year. There are six gridding questions. We haven't done these before. A gridding question looks like this. You would write in the answer, which is going to be a number, it'll be a numerical value, and then you would bubble in those, um, those little circles below that respond to the number that um, you have on the, on the line. Um, again, this is something that we haven't done before. Um, it's probably going to increase uh, with math or the necessity to do some mathematical problems um, because there will be six questions that are this grid and variety. After you go to a break, you come back and you start working on your free response questions. How your 90 minutes is broken down um, into is a 10 minute period where you just read. It's a mandatory reading section. Um, this is where you read through the questions, you start jotting down notes, you maybe write down some little um, words um, or anything that you might want to make sure that you include when you're physically writing the, the essay. Um, after your 10 minutes, then you're given 80 minutes to actually open your booklet and write your responses. Um, in the past, the, the essays were four long essays. This next year, it will be two long essays, kind of like what we've experienced in the past, um, combined with six short essays. Um, some other changes that will be um, happening on the AP exam in 2013 is that calculators will be permitted. Um, in the past, that wasn't the case. No graphing calculators will be allowed in. It's just a normal, simple four-function calculator. Um, formulas will also be given. Um, in the past, no formulas were given to the students. There are two pages of formulas. This sheet will be made available to every student, and those have some, uh, some different equations that might help you in answering the questions. Um, finally, um, what, will be, what will the questions be about? Um, the AP, the College Board, has gone through the course and broken the entire course into four big ideas. These four big ideas are further broken down into learning objectives. This is what the students um, need to be able to do. Essential knowledge, what the students need to know. And enduring understandings, concepts that um, are important um, for the students to be able to understand. So um, this information right here is all published with College Board. There's a number of documents, um, a number of pages that you can review that says what is expected of you to understand and as well what is not expected of you. There are actually sections that say this is beyond the scope of the course. You do not need to, under, um, to be able to state um, this certain process or these steps. So um, I hope that helps. I hope you study hard and uh, get a good grade and are successful on the AP exam. Good luck.